This 3D printer is massive and affordable, and it makes huge 3D prints. This printer is awesome, and I love how big this printer is. The Elgato Neptune 3 Max is the biggest and most affordable 3D printer that I have ever seen. In my last video, when I was unboxing it for the first time, I could not believe how big this thing really was. The printer's build volume ranges at 420 by 420 by 500 millimeters, or 16.5 by 16.5 by 19.7 inches. That is a pretty big build play size, with also print speeds reaching up to 180 millimeters per second. With a price ranging at $470, this massive printer can make huge prints, whether it be in parts or as one whole piece. This printer has some amazing features that I was really impressed by. The printer has an automatic bed leveling system that is incredible, and it has six twistable knobs that you can turn to adjust the bed level to get the perfect first layer for your first print. The next thing that I like about this printer is that it has a direct drive system that is amazing. It delivers great quality prints, and it is very quiet as well. It is so silent when it prints, you can barely even hear it. Another thing that really impressed me about this printer is that it has a touchscreen attachment. The best part about this feature is that it's magnetic. You can pick it up anytime so that you can change settings or prep your printer and so much more without leaning over so much. Another thing that I like about this printer is that it comes with a magnetic build plate that you can deattach anytime when your prints are finished. It will help you remove your prints faster. Also, I didn't know that this came with the printer, but I think this is absolutely amazing that it has a light feature that you can turn on to be able to see your prints better, or maybe to light up your room a little bit to make it look cool. These are the best printer features that I'm about to list off that make me want to buy another one of these printers. I'm not gonna lie. The printer comes with a smart resuming printer setting. What this setting does is that while the printer is printing and the power goes out, the printer will shut off, of course, yes, but the best part about that is that when the power comes back on and your printer turns back on, it will automatically resume to the last checkpoint it was supposed to print at when the power went out at that exact time, so it will finish at that exact spot it needed to do to finish that specific layer. To be honest, I've actually had this happen a couple of times and it actually resumes right back to where it was supposed to go when the power went out, and I love it so much. 10 out of 10. It also has a storage bin on the left-hand side that you can open to store all of your tools or your spare parts that you have for your printer that you specifically need for it at certain times when it needs it. It comes in a few parts and takes at least 10 minutes to assemble. Super fast, super simple, 10 out of 10. The filament runout sensor has an amazing feature that when it runs out of filament, it sends a beeping signal to you to let you know that you have run out of filament. I was confused the first time when that went off. I had a few printers running at the same time when I was working on certain projects, but when the filament ran out and the sensor went off, it beeped for a while. It beeps for about maybe 60 seconds to about two minutes, more or less, I think. But when I was trying to look around, I saw that the beeping sound came from my printer and I'm like, wow, I didn't know this was part of the printer. That's really helpful. And here's the reason why I said 50 out of 10 earlier on this sensor system. The reason why is that when you run out of filament, the printer stops, right? It just moves its hot end and its bed into a certain position when it pauses when you run out of filament. Other printers back then, I still have some printers that do that, that when they run out, they cool off the hot end and they cool off the build plate and then the whole print just pops off. It's sad. This one doesn't do that. This printer that when it runs out of filament and it goes into its paused state to wait for you to refill the filament, it will stay heated and keep its same temperature for the build plate and the hot end so that way it keeps the print on the build plate and that way when you refill your filament, it will automatically start immediately when it's ready to go and you press start. Now, I know I already said this at the beginning of the video where the printer is silent when it's printing, but the thing is the whole printer is silent when it's printing and when it's finished. When it's printing, it doesn't make a lot of noise, taking away a lot of the sounds and everything so that way you don't have any noise going through like the microphone, whether you're in a meeting or on the phone with somebody, hanging out with friends online, playing video games or whatever, whatever you're doing, of course, or if you're making and editing YouTube videos or just videos for some projects for your class or something like that. It's a really amazing feature that I think is very handy, and for anyone that wants a silent printer, this is one I would recommend. The printer can also print many types of filament like ABS, PLA, PETG, and TPU. 
When you first get the 3D printer, it comes with instructions on how to assemble the printer, but also it comes with instructions on how to install their slicer software. When it comes to the slicing software, it's all based on what you choose. You don't have to use the Elgu Cura. You can use Ultimaker or you can use Prusa or whatever other slicer software you're comfortable with. This printer ceases to amaze me. I love it so much, it can make anything, whether big or small or in pieces or as a whole piece. It is amazing. I love it so much. Like take a look at these for example. These were all fun projects that I've been working on for a while, and I love how they turned out. Especially my custom Mandalorian helmet file. This helmet was perfect. After scuffing it up and making some little indents and everything, I decided to put it to the test on my Elgu Neptune 3 Max, and I just love how it turned out. How smooth it was and how the details showed off really well. I just gotta say, this is my favorite printer I have ever gotten for big, fast, detailed 3D prints. If you have any further questions about this 3D printer and you would like to learn more about it, or what you would like to see 3D printed in the next video, let me know in the comments section. You can find these printers on a lot of websites, but these are the ones I would recommend if you wanted to get these printers at a very special price. The websites I would recommend are elgu.com and matterhackers.com. Matterhackers offers a large variety of 3D printers, filaments, spare parts, and more. They have so many options to choose from, I highly recommend them. And for Elgu, they have a large variety of 3D printers you can choose from with really satisfying qualities for the 3D prints and their 3D printers for both resin and FDM. Even their filament choices that they even offer. Let me know what you guys think about this 3D printer and if you had this printer right now, what would be the first thing you would print on this 3D printer? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And thank you for your help and support. If you guys have any more questions or want to learn more about 3D printing or what you would like to see 3D printed in the next videos, let me know in the comments section. And I'll see you guys later.